He looked destined for success from the very beginning. The son of a former Soviet Union professional, Alexander Dolgopol offers everything you need to take on the very best and win. The tennis world has started to sit up and take notice of the man they call the dog. I mean, he's fantastic talent and the type of shots that he, he, he plays uh, you can't see uh, anywhere else. He's, uh, he's a great talent, great, great uh, athlete and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how his career is going to develop. I'm very um, enthusiastic about him because it's fun to watch him play and on the court it's the same. He plays uh, like he's having fun which is something difficult to keep. To keep. Uh, you know, when, when players uh, are 20, they are all fun and very happy to be here, and then they, for, they forget this, uh, this feeling. And I think Alexander hasn't forget it yet. Integral to Alexander's growing reputation, coach Jack Reader. The pair have been working together for two years now, and the Australian's dedication to the young Ukrainian's progress is beginning to pay dividends. He's always traveled with me and uh, he always uh, goes on the tournaments. So, you know, it's really tough, you know, because uh, he stays in Australia and he can't go back home. So it's tough for him, but uh, still, I think we did a really good year and uh, he's helping me a lot and it's tough off court, on court and uh, to be fit and uh, injury free. So, yeah, for sure, I think uh, I can say thanks for my results and uh, for helping me. 2011 has seen the partnership reach new heights. Having won a maiden doubles title with Xavier Melis at Indian Wells, Dolgopolov then tastes his single success on the clay of Umag, Croatia. That was very good. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't there. But uh, the good thing was his, his mum, dad and sister were there, which, uh, you know, his mum and dad have put a lot into his tennis. So I was very, uh, very chuffed for them that they happened to be there for that one. I'm, I'm hoping to be there for a few more. <laughs> Alexander Dolgopolov. It was a really nervous final, you know, and uh, I was really happy to win it. Uh, it was up and down, and my family was there, my manager was there, and uh, it was a nice moment. He likes to play. He's basically, that's what he's grown up on. Uh, this year, unfortunately, he didn't have a very good play season. He did, did quite well at the French, but apart from that, he had pancreatitis, so it was more a health issue than anything, so we're looking forward to next year's clay. This year's US Open saw Dolgopolov enhance his burgeoning reputation. In taking world number one Novak Djokovic to a marathon first set tiebreak, the 22-year-old came close to derailing the Serbs' near-perfect season. Yeah, a little bit of luck wouldn't have gone astray there, you know, just... Uh, one point would have been nice in the tiebreaker, but uh, hey, that's the way it is. Novak's uh, he's he's doing fairly well, I'd suggest. So it, it was good, and Alex knew he didn't have the legs to to carry on to, to win three more sets. So, um, but yeah, very pleased with that. Well, they both gave away a couple of silly points, but uh, they both played some brilliant stuff. It was. It was neck and neck, and what was it, 16-14 in the tie break? It was, uh, I sat down to watch it the other night, actually, and I said to a friend, oh, this will be fun to watch. I didn't realise it was half an hour. <laughs> the Ukrainian's talent is undeniable. He may have reached a career-high 19 in the South African Airways ATP rankings, but there's clearly still room for improvement. These two focused on going all the way. Well, there's a few additions that I, I'd like to make to his game. Just a couple more things, a couple more cards in the deck. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, next year he's, uh, he's maturing all the time and uh, I think he's about ready to start taking a bit more on board. I would uh, like to get more, more, you know, stronger and physical and uh, to be able to play five sets in all of the top guys. That's uh, the main thing to do good in the slams. And, uh, get my probably serve percentage up because it hasn't been really happy for me because I mean I was doing like 40 45 percent that's not too good to play top five so that's the things I need to work to be better next year well I mean the main thing is to be healthy you know if you're not healthy it doesn't matter how good you play and so that's the main thing and then I'll just try to get better in everything we're having a go to be at the, in the top 16 for um, for next year, for the seedings in the Australian Open. That's the goal that we've set for him, and 
Uh, it's um, the way he's striking the ball, a uh, little bit of luck, uh, wouldn't go astray and I think, I think he's a good chance to get in 16. Will 2012 be the year of Alexander Dolgopolov? Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, action from the China Open in Beijing and the Rakuten Japan Open Tennis Championships in Tokyo. And it's a family affair. Following in the footsteps of German lefty Misha, we meet the latest in the Zverev tennis dynasty, brother Sasha. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.